Alright, let's do this everybody, it's time to watch the opening credits, the opening title sequence, the intro, if you will, for Peacemaker. Oh, this is going to be something that I'm looking forward to seeing. There's no secret behind this, but I am a massive wrestling fan, there's always been wrestling content on the channel, and to see someone like John Cena, such a, such a great guy, a great person as far as I know, maybe he's not, maybe he's quite politicky, who knows. But um, you can say what you want about John Cena, one of the most successful wrestlers of all time who, you know, anybody from the wrestling business that I see going out in Hollywood and making more for themselves, I'm always very happy and, and happy to support that, whether it be The Rock or Batista or whoever. Uh, and the one that seems to be taking over people's hearts right now is John Cena and it's amazing um, to see him. Oh, some people can't see him, but I know he's there in spirit and in heart. And he's doing the Peacemaker and the Suicide Squad, the 2021 version of the Suicide Squad, was miles better than the first one I enjoyed. Still not my favourite film. <laughs> Definitely the first half of the new Suicide Squad film I was well up for. Second half, not so much. But the journey that the Peacemaker goes on in that film was uh, quite good, I thought, and actually quite interesting. So I'm interested to see the series. I don't know how we get it over here in the UK. It's on HBO Max. Usually HBO shows come to Sky Showcase or Sky Atlantic or something like that. So I need to try and find the HBO Max uh, way to watch the shows in the UK. But this is the intro. I'm a big TV show intro guy. I think it's very, very important. I've always been for that. And I've heard this is quite the hoot. I love that it's completely straight, like, did that on purpose. Oh, yes! an executive producer on this as well, I didn't know that. <laughs> James Gunn, of course. What I love about it more than anything, not even just the fact that it's John Cena, also the fact he's got his own show. You know what I mean? Like he's, it's like his name comes up first in the titles, which is huge. You know what I mean? He's playing it so straight and so is everybody, you know, the straight face. But what I love about it, I know like the Peacemaker character was kind of wacky and silly and daft and I know the Suicide Squad film is supposed to be like that, but like, I'm assuming that the dance number has absolutely nothing to do with the show. I'm assuming the show is just like the same kind of vibe as his scenes in the Suicide Squad, but the fact that the dance routine is so spot on and happy and cheery. Listen to the music. And it's just he's not a good dancer at all, but he does a good job. This is the guy in a full suit. Obviously DC doesn't have anything else like this, I'm assuming. I get they're trying to be kind of like, um, relevant and funny. That thing, when Cena slides in there. It's like The Rock. In that Smackdown when he does the people's elbow. I love this song!
See, in title sequences that you don't mind watching at the start of every program, at the start of every episode, I love that. The one for me was the Dexter um, opening credits. They're so long. Like, it's him, like, starting his day and having a shower and putting on his top and eating his breakfast. But the tune was so good and it just set the tone for the episode, you know? Man. What an... Oh, that's mental! The opening credits to Peacemaker is John Cena doing a dance routine to this upbeat, cheery song. Did not expect that. Very happy with that. And I'd love to watch the show. I just don't know how to access it in the UK if anyone knows. I'd love to be told. <laughs> but, uh, yes, please let me know what you think of... The opening credits, the HBO series of Peacemaker, let me know what you thought of my reaction and I'll see you all next time on CM42 TV.